greetings in this video I want to help you to log out of your apps on a smart TV that you are no longer in possession of so you may have given it away as a gift to a friend or a family member you may have sold it on Facebook marketplace you may have sold it at a yard sale you may have chucked it in the trash or put it in the recycling center and realize oh no someone might replace the screen and then have access to all my accounts on the smart TV after it's fixed. That is a possibility, and it has happened before. So it doesn't matter if you have a Fire TV, if you have a Roku TV, whatever version of smart TV you have with apps on it, this video will help you log out. So first of all, don't be too alarmed if this happens. Um, most of the passwords on a smart TV are encrypted. So what that means is they're just like the dots. Um, and they're not able to actually read your passwords, which is a good thing. However, if you're still logged in, they're able to access your account. And so with an app like Amazon Fire, that could be dangerous because they'll, they might have access to your Amazon account and place orders um, or watch you know more expensive movies on your account uh, while you're still logged in. All right, so let's go ahead and follow what you need to do. So, for example, if you have Amazon, that's probably the most concerning app that you may have logged on to a uh, TV. Now, if you do still have possession of your TV and the screen is cracked or broken and you can't see, um, I'll link at the very end of this video how you would do like a, like a smart TV, how to reset it. Um, so with Amazon Prime, make sure you're logged in on your phone or your tablet or a computer. And then on the very right there, on your drop down menu under your account just go to your account and then go all the way down to where it says devices and then devices you need to scroll down all the way to the bottom where it says Amazon devices and pick the the TV that you are um, that it'll have some details of the TV and click on the TV and then from there what you want to, it'll drop down. So, for example, this Amazon Fire TV, that's the one that of mine that recently broke. So, I would choose that. And then you could deregister it. You just click deregister it. Now, uh, if you're not familiar which TV, let's say you own four or five TVs and you cannot recognize it, I would recommend you just deregister all of them and then re-register them again. Of course, you'll have to go through the passwords and all that, but it's better than them having access to your Prime account. All right, uh, another one would be go your Google account, which would be YouTube. Uh, what you do is just go to google.com and log into your Google account, and then what you're going to do is, once you're logged into your Google account, go to the security part on the very left, and then from security, what you're going to do is scroll all the way down to where it shows manage devices it'll be on the very bottom of the screen go ahead and click manage all devices and then from there it's going to pop up the the, the devices and right here it's got one session on smart tv and so this is the tv right here if you recognize it you're, you're going to do is click on this little arrow here forward arrow and that's my TV uh, from here I want to click sign out and so instead of deregistering with Google you would just basically sign out alright that's how you would do it with Google uh, Roku would be the third one I'd be concerned about so just uh, go to uh, Roku.com on your tablet or your computer or your phone and then click on this little person right here on the upper right then click on my account and then you will scroll down all the way to the bottom and I have like three different Roku devices uh, I know the TV that I do not have in my possession any longer it's not 43 inches but obviously I would choose this one here I would choose that one and then on the very bottom just click on remove device from account so basically that's Roku if you could think of any other accounts that you might have on there, those are the ones that I mentioned are the most important. But if you have Apple TV, think about that. Paramount, Hulu, Spotify is a good one to make sure you uninstall. Disney Plus, you'll you'll find with Roku, 
that a lot of these channels, if you did it through Roku, will automatically dis di uh, will automatically disconnect. Uh, YouTube TV, HBO Max. So think of all the ones that you sign up for. But remember, the good chance is that they'll, if they do get on your account, they'll go ahead and log out and put theirs on it. Uh, they're not going to be able to do anything nefarious usually with them, except maybe Amazon, like I talked talked about. Roku is a possibility, and your Google account. They might be able to get movies on your account. So just think about the main ones. And again, I'm going to link at the end of this video here where you can, uh, on a Amazon Fire TV, where you can just reset it if you're still in possession of the TV. All right, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe.